My name is uh, Stefania Barbaglio. I'm the founder of Cassiopeia and also the host of The Financial Fox, uh, which is uh, a podcast and YouTube channel where we have interviewed over, I think, uh, 400 founders uh, and investors in uh, crypto, AI and Web3 and all different kind of emerging technology, as well as also alternative investment and finance. Over the last uh, couple of years, uh, AI has become very interesting, especially for, and, and also has been kind of getting more into uh, the conversation that many blockchain companies has been doing. And that's why even with my work, I, I start to look at what AI technology is actually bringing to blockchain. And you see there are two sides of the coin. One is really what blockchain brings to AI and that touches obviously different aspects of uh, transparency, data provenance and the ability to actually build models that uh, avoid bias, which obviously can be a big problem when it comes down to centralized AI system like OpenAI. The other aspect of the chain is really AI for blockchain. And we are still very early, but AI can help a lot in fighting, for example, uh, you know, in an element about security, but also identify when there are congestions in the network. So make the overall uh, blockchain system more efficient as well. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, these two technology, they are all coming together and I'm very excited about the convergence of them. So part of the work that we do and, uh, um, you know, we are diving deep into that is really this convergence between AI and blockchain. So I think we are still very early in, uh, in this convergence between AI and blockchain. So far, they've been considered two separate, uh, let's say, industries. So even if you see um, lots of VCs, either they've been investing into AI or they've been investing into crypto. What is happening right now is that VCs are taking position where at the convergence of these AI and blockchain. And as I mentioned, one aspect that I think is very interesting is AI crypto tokens. So that means how can we create incentive mechanism to have better, to build better large language models, where if you are, uh, for example, a node or uh, a player that can actually add the data, is incentivized to bring data to the model and gets a reward, a reward with that. So I think that's a very interesting intersection. And, and I think those incentives to build better large language models. They are open source AI model. That's, that's a very interesting area, I think, for me. So I think in terms of challenges, uh, obviously a regulation is a big challenge because uh, we still don't have a clear regulation uh, in AI and obviously in blockchain and crypto regulation is coming along, but uh, you know, it's still quite fragmented. Uh, I think the European uh, uh, put out, uh, uh, they, they approve uh, the first AI Act, which is trying to give some clarity about AI, and that's great. Um, but also there is the aspect of interoperability, which also is something very important. So regulation, interoperability, operational interoperability, but also regulation interoperability. And then there is obviously funding because AI is expensive and we know, you know, the, the power required by AI data center, that's very expensive. So um, I think the investment uh, um, is, is also a challenge. What I think is very interesting is uh, to see how this investment is directed, especially when it comes down to infrastructure to power AI compute. And that's where I would like to see uh, more uh, narratives around renewable energies, because uh, obviously um, th this kind of uh, drive to power AI can, can really be um, driven by exploiting and, and actually powering renewable energy. So I think if somebody would ask me what the government could do to 
help uh, adoption of crypto and maybe development, more development in the blockchain and AI space. I think first of all is education. So I think still government and policymaker and regulator, they still need to be educated about this new technology and the best way is actually to try them. And I'm saying that too, if I'm talking about the UK and London. London has been at the forefront of financial services for many years. It's been the financial hub, right? Why are we falling behind with crypto? Or, you know, even with AI? It's because we are not setting up the right environment to attract talent, to allow this company to actually work and set up their headquarters here in the UK. If we are hostile, and th then the talent is going to go somewhere else. And we lose not just money, but the talent that we lose, I think long term is something that we don't want, uh, we don't want to do. So I think being uh, um, welcoming of business is very important, but in order, in order to be able to do that, you need to listen and you need to engage.